choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. It's been 50 years since we've been to the moon, and we've got a great program called Artemis. We're going back. The Apollo program was a test for the American people that you can do what you set out to do. All it took was turning to it and making it happen. We are go for a mission to the moon at this time. Engines on five, four, three, two. All engines running. Launch commit, liftoff. We have liftoff 49 minutes past the hour. I think the characteristic that, that, that I remember most of the Saturn V was the noise. The noise was enormous and it was almost impossible to communicate. We're go, train time, we're go. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. The landing to me was a great celebration. The nation was almost euphoric. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. There are so many things that we can eventually learn about our universe and the spacecraft that we use exploring. We are a nation of explorers. During Apollo, we were on national TV literally every day because we were doing something visible that Americans could see and they could feel and say, look what we are doing. And I believe Artemis is going to come up and say, look what we are capable of and what we are doing now. Artemis will stand on the shoulders of Apollo. They're gonna have the eyes of the world on them when they start down this trail. The science of a space flight is one that will continue to inspire. Going to the moon generates technology, more communications, more computer technology, more sophistication in manufacturing that help us in everyday life. We have a generation that is ready, a generation with that technology, a generation with the education. Artemis represents the future in space. It is our next big step, and it is time to take it.